Welcome to the Devil's Film School. I am your host, The Fat Mantis, and today we will be taking a deep dive look into Ryan Murphy's Season 10 of American Horror Story. It is with great regret and a heavy heart that I must inform you, if you have not heard the rumors yet, that American Horror Story Season 10 will be delayed. Now I am not going to do what you think I'm going to do, and I am not going to. <laughs> but we all saw it coming. We all knew what the pandemic was doing. It almost seemed like the pandemic had a personal vendetta against our movies and television shows. They wanted to destroy our entertainment, and at least delay or cripple they certainly have. Now we face the burden of two horrors. On one end, it could be delayed just a couple of months, and that is a plausible situation. However, they would have to greatly alter the story, and not only that, we would not have the advantage of the spookiness of the darkness of the fall season and the Halloween season. As we all know, American Horror Story is all about Halloween episodes. The other thing that they could do, which is probably going to be more likely, is they are going to delay it an entire year, which means it would not come in October, or even a few months after that. It would be October 2021. This is disastrous, and uh, I, you know, I'm, I'm pretty emotional about it myself. Now, what did we even know about the future of American Horror Story Season 10? What was it even about? There's been a lot of discussion about what the theme is, and so although a lot of us speculated that it was going to be a water-themed one, it is actually a creepypasta-themed one. It takes place in a small New England town, possibly Island Town, um, where you know the water and the beach is very important to the p p locals economy and it was about a myth a local myth or legend folklore that encapsulates that entire town however they were going to focus um, on side stories on various creepypastas and other urban legends from around the world that have captivated the internet now if they're really doing creep creepypastas there are two things i'm really hoping i really hope that they stay away from the slender man because he's just i mean you know, you know, he's good at scaring if you, you know, twelve-year-olds. But I've, I, he's gotten too much fame. You know, he was not meant to be a supervillain. You know what I mean? He was meant to to stay in the, you know, the annals of lame internet horror. Um, however, I do hope they hit up things like um, Candle Cove is one of them. Um, or what about the one that the, about that um, that uh, Furby-like creature that visits the boy when he, while he has the flu? That one creeps me out. Oh, and you know what? I also like the Japanese. Um, vending machine that puts out lethal candies and toys that is a really good one and it's not scary it's just flat out creepy you just you know you want to avoid hearing or experiencing it and that's what American Horror Story is amazing at now this brings us to the infamous Skype conversation now Ryan Murphy announced this to his cast and crew via a Skype conversation he had a different one for the actors now, I want you to take a look at this image right here yeah, so that's an image. He didn't make it a public Skype. It was just him and his actors. And if you actually notice, we've got Jessica Lange. We've got Dennis O'Hare. We've got Angela Bassett. We've got Emma Roberts. We've got um, Cody Fern. Taiza Farmiga are all there. And they weren't even scheduled or even hinted at it that they were going to be in season 10. So I'm expecting a super reunion. And actually, if you notice down there, we've also got Dylan McDermott, who really... He's just like the Ryan Murphy's family's crazy uncle. He just shows up unannounced to all their events and barbecues. And as long as they have domestic beer, he's fine. And then Ryan Murphy's like, as long as you're here, I'm going to put you in front of camera. He's a lot like Gale and Evel from the movie Raising Arizona. A great movie. People who understand that movie are the greatest people in the world. Um, yeah, he, he, um, it's awesome to see him. But if you notice, no Connie Britton. You know, I think she thinks she's too cool for school. She's basically an ingrate. Which is fine to me, you know. Um, you, you know, she can go back to Spin City or wherever gutter Ryan Murphy found her in. <laughs> I kid, of course, she is an American treasure. Lo lo love you, Connie. Um, so what I'm thinking is that they are planning a super reunion. That at least one or two-parter is going to have all the actors. I mean, it is the 10th season. It's such a, it's such a big 
feat that they've made it this long. We all thought last season was when Jessica Lane came back for an episode or two, but no, this is going to be truly the, the remarkable one. I, I have a feeling it's going to be very similar to the Woman in White episode. But the other thing that he announced was a spin-off series. I'm sure you've all heard of it right now. It's codenamed American Horror Stories. And I'm praying to God that that is a working title. However, they're going to be one-off anthology pieces. Now, I am extremely skeptical about this. What it is, is I'm not claiming that Ryan Murphy created the entire season-long anthology series. However, it was an upgrade from other anthology series. I mean, we're all fans of things like The Twilight Zone, The Outer Limits, Creep Show, um, all, sort of, all sorts of uh, things like that. Um, Tales from the Crypt, it goes on and on. Tales from the Dark Side. Um, and what they were one-offs, and sometimes the stories, they went flat because they were only a single episode long. And the fact that you could extend it an entire season. Now, let's face it. Sometimes, you know, the story would go dry in eight or nine episodes. However, this is another reason why I'm not liking the, this anthology. Ryan Murphy is a master of the curveball episodes. Similar to the Lady in White that I mentioned earlier, he has episodes that are just one-offs or sometimes two-parters that defy logic that they'd be good. You wouldn't believe, you don't understand why the story took a quick left turn, but it quickly swerves back and connects it all together. The serial killer Santa from Asylum for their Christmas episode, um, The Lady in White in 1984, I would say the two-parter with Chester, the molester from um, Freak Show, um, are all perfect examples. Or even in Freak Show, the episode with Pepper, which is one of the best episodes in the entire series. Um, these one-offs are just amazing, and I really would hate for that energy to be taken away and put into a side story. Uh, you know, if they're going to ruin the side stories in American Horror Story, I'd prefer them stay there um, and don't bother with a, with a side, side joke. But, you know, I will ch I'll clearly check it out, and I am enthusiastic to see what they bring to us. Now, the next thing I need to address is the almost confirmed tale going on here, and it is... Ariana Grande to the cast. Now, they were already filming for a while, so my guess is that she is going to be part of a one-off or something. Or be a side character, similar to the way she was in Scream Queens, where she was killed by episode two. Um, you know, I, I love her as a pop star. You know, I, I had my, I was very skeptical of her when she came out of, uh, out of, you know, Nick Jr. or whatever. Um, but she really sold me in 2014 with her album, My Everything. I love that she um, plays it off like she's an R&B pop star, but she's really a disco queen at heart. She's great at that, but is she a great actress? I'm not really sure about that. And American Horror Story is notorious for its good acting performances. Um, and her performance in Scream Queens is, let's face it, um, less than be desired of and you know you know she's not a lady gaga you know what i mean lady gaga is an artiste ariana grande you know she you know she finger paints so that is our episode for today tell me what do you think of ariana grande as an actress do you think that she will bring honor or shame to the american horror story legacy of bringing pop stars in there also, what do you think about this whole delay? What are we going to do to tide ourselves over? I mean, there's shows like what we do in the shadows, but honestly, that's comedy. We need true horror, and there's very few quality horror out there right now. Maybe Lovecraft Country. Who knows? Let's check that out. That's on HBO. But anyway, until next time, please like, share, and subscribe. And continue to tune into Voice of the Fat Mantis for some Devil's Film School and other analysis of horror and American horror story. Until next time, ciao. For now. <laughs>